Welcome to Lankernicity, where your journey and destiny link. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your linkologist, and I'm here to help you link your life. Today, we're going to be talking about the link of self-control. Do you have self-control? Do you use your self-control link in all of the areas of your life? Where do you use it? Where do you choose to use it? And do you even know the extent of how you use it? And is it only positive? That's what we're going to explore today. <laughs> your link of self-control can be an extremely positive link to use for the times when you know that you can derail yourself and get out of control. The link of self-control is linked to the link of discipline. It is linked to the link of willpower. And yes, it tests your link of patience. So it's all kind of intertwined and interconnected. When we're utilizing our link of self-control to, say, live a healthy lifestyle by eating right and exercising, uh, finishing that homework or that work project or staying on task, right, to get to the end zone, self-control is beautiful when you know that you can use it to navigate your life to continue onward toward whatever your attainable goal is. Self-control can be utilized in this way for your advantage. Self-control is also really handy when you know that you have certain weaknesses that you're trying to work on. You know, let's say that maybe you don't think before you speak and you just blurt out all kinds of things. Self-control is a beautiful tool to use to be able to rein yourself in. If you, you know, act a certain way that you know that isn't really in the best light or in a good way or can harm others, self-control is another beautiful thing you can use. But when self-control has a dark side, you need to ask yourself if you're actually applying it without even realizing it. Let me give you an example. Okay. Self-control can be taken to the extreme. Just like any link that you have in your life chain, everything has a good side and it has a dark side and we got to keep it in balance, got to keep it in check, got to utilize it for our highest, greatest good. Always. Always. And not just our highest and greatest good, but for everyone around too, so that it's always, you know, put in a positive light in a positive place to have a ripple effect of being able to promote progress and create change in a healthy way that makes everyone better. Okay? Self control is great there. But where self control isn't isn't great is when you are not being true to your authentic core self and staying on moral ground. Do you know what I mean when I say that? Okay, let's let me give you a, a communication example. Let's say you have relatives who are telling you not to tell another relative something because they want you to believe it's for the highest good that they don't know anything. Maybe it's a family secret or maybe someone is adopted or something like that and you're just not supposed to say anything. That's when you're being asked to use self-control that is not always in a healthy light because it can harm somebody else. And that's what I want to talk about self-control today because when we don't honor our voice, when we don't honor our own morals, morals for the highest, greatest good, when we don't honor our truth, when we don't honor our authentic self from the place of our core being of who we really need to be in that moment, that's when being asked to use the self-control link is not good. And sometimes we don't realize it when it's happening because you always think of the other side of the greater highest good. But here's the thing, everything you do has consequences and there is a ripple effect for your actions or their lack of. Okay, So when we think about the link of self-control, it's best utilized in the positive light for our own life path, but when somebody else is asking you to put it in check, now they're driving your bus. Do you know what I mean when I say that? They're driving your bus, like the tail wagging the dog, or <laughs> they're driving your bus, and if they've got an accelerator foot, on that, I mean like the movie speed, you know, if they're like doing it, then you have no control anymore. 
and the control is gone and now they're controlling you and you're not back in self-control of self-check of being able to utilize the self-control link for your highest greatest good for everybody's highest greatest good and you're being asked to do something that is against who you are that's when it's bad so I wanted to kind of bring you into the enlightenment and, and awareness factor of how every link that we have in our life chain has a good and bad side and with self-control specifically I wanted to bring this to the forefront of your awareness because a lot of it is misunderstood and it's misinterpreted and if we have clarity of our links and what they all can do or can't do or how they can do harm or do good it helps us navigate our life in a better healthier way in a greater light for the most positive best life that we can live so keep it in check Make sure you have your own self-check for your own self-control link and use it in the best way possible so you can stay your healthy path and stay disciplined in your life with the willpower for the, the good stuff and avoid the dark side of that self-control link and you can be living your best life on the healthiest path that you could possibly live. I'm Stacey Kumagai, your linkologist, here to help you link your life. Please be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Linkernicity, blogspot.com and go to linkernicity.com for private coaching sessions. I hope you have a wonderful day of self-control in the positive light.